Hey y'all, Toad here. Well, something a little bit different. <laughs> what we got here is a bunch of uh, three-quarter inch copper tubing laid out. And uh, what I'm going to be doing is building a two-meter uh, Slim Jim style antenna out of this. I'm not quite sure how to film it, but uh, it's kind of bring you along for the ride. Uh, the first thing that kind of sucked was I went to find my tubing cutter, you know, the kind you wrap around the pipe and spin it and all that, and nope, can't find it, so kind of improvising, I'm actually using that, uh, that scroll saw over there with a metal, you know, metal blade in it. It's a little slower, but so far it's working. And, uh, you know, there's other videos, a bunch, out there how to make this. I'll try and annotate one down there somewhere. <coughs> so you can see it. <clears throat> I don't know how deep I'm going to get into the actual building, but what it comes down to is you can do the math to find out the lengths and uh, first thing I'm going to do is cut all the lengths that I need and when I come back um, I'll have it all laid out so you can kind of get an idea of what it's going to look like. Alright, well there we go. Now I am not the greatest uh, sweater of pipes in the world you know I guess that's why I kind of like PVC and PEX tubing but uh, there it is it's uh it ain't small it's about now oh, 56 57 inches something like that long and it's a little heavy you know for antennas <laughs> so I'm gonna have to come up with some ways to uh, to make this, oh, there's my cell phone. All right, ring that, let that ring for a second, and uh, just tell you, I'm gonna come up with some way to mount this and stabilize this. Okay, now if this antenna works out the way I want it to, it's going to be put up, you know, about a 50 foot or so ma uh, tower. So it's already a little heavy. So I don't care too, too much about weight. So what I'm going to do here is you can see I started the cut. It's just way too loud to do that on, uh, on camera. But this leftover piece, I'm going to make a, a bracket for where the air gap is. So let me get this cut and get it over to the antenna and you'll see what I mean. All right, there's the piece just out of the... Uh, out of the drill and I went ahead and uh, softened the edges and I just did that on the belt sander just to kind of give it a little more roundy look in keeping with the the look of the antenna and as you can see by the tools that's how I'm gonna put it on there now is this in the plan no this is this is where I'm deviating a little bit um, just that seems like a pretty long piece to leave loose and uh, I don't know, it just seems like it should be more solid. Plus, you know, there's... I don't think this gap is really crucial with uh, tuning the antenna. However, me not thinking it does means I don't know. So, I want to keep this gap, which is pretty carefully measured, uh, I want to keep this consistent the whole way of the antenna. And with this air gap, you know, you have a space. You can actually see there where it's a little off. So when I rivet this in, that should give some rigidity to the entire thing without, uh, you know, shorting it out or having any problems. So let me get that attached and uh, we'll be right back. All right. Well, there's that piece riveted on there. And like I said, it's probably a little overkill. Uh, certainly a thick piece. That's a that's a quarter inch thick piece of Lexan. But, you know, now this thing is braced up, strong. It's a pretty solid unit. But unfortunately, I'm going to have to stop here because uh, while I could, you know, I'm going to slice this piece of Lexan this way, mount it here, and uh, I may have said this before, but oh well. Anyway, that's where the, uh, the feed points and it's going to be, of course, attached to the antenna to as the brace because this is where the mounting brackets to put it on the pole, on the mast are going to be. But 
until I tune this antenna and find out the, where the actual location of the feed points are going to be, I'll have to wait. So hopefully next time you see this, uh, the next scene will be somewhere out in the field monkeying around with tuning it. Alright, here we are at the abode of the Nick and Ben channel, which I'll do somewhere down here. Y'all need to go check it out. Nick's at school. He's getting smarter than us. And we're going to go ahead and tune this antenna, find out where it resonates. And we're going to be using a little Bofang radio and a meter. And you can see here's the tuning apparatus. We just got it hooked up. The antenna has to stay away from everything else. It can't be uh, touching the ground or anything else like that. It has to be electrically isolated. So I've just got the two antenna parts here goes through, makes contact, and then this whole thing's just held on by the center bolt. And we're just gonna, basically going to run it up and down until we find the sweet spot. Alright, so here we are. We've got some uh, small diameter inexpensive coax hooked up to that thing and there it is up in the tree. And uh, we didn't have very much luck with the SWR meter that we had, but uh, right where it was seems to be working just fine so we're gonna do another test Ben's gonna take off in his car and I've got a little a little bow thing UV5R here attached to it and uh, that's a 5 watt unit he's gonna take off with the car and see just how far away he can get okay I'm trying to uh, stay out of the wind try not to get too much wind noise but what basically happened is uh, the mobile unit stopped re stopped being able to transmit to me about six miles away and uh, he could hear this rig clear as a bell at that point so we know he can get uh, you know we can get at least six or seven miles without a doubt but uh, he's gonna hail me when he starts coming back and we'll see about what point he can begin to hear me. Or excuse me, I can begin to hear him. But, uh, well, one thing for sure, this antenna with some not the greatest cable in the world, only about 25 feet off the ground, uh, gently undulating land, no big mountains, but lots of hills up and down, probably, uh, you know, anywhere from 100 to 150 foot elevation differences driving around, that, uh, he had no problem hearing me on this little five watt radio. So I guess we're gonna call that a call that a win. When he gets back we'll uh, we'll wrap up the video. Well, alright, there's the there's the rig that we used. Little uh, Bofang UV five R and uh, there's the antenna. And what did we end up with? We figured what about seven or eight miles? Yeah, I think seven and a half maxed it out. Cool. So we'll uh, we'll get a second one of these and do a little bit better with building <laughs> and see if we see how far we can get. All right. Well, fair winds, y'all. Thanks for coming along.